What's up, guys? It's David again, back with some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, today is some sniper gameplay, which I normally don't do. This is actually the first game that I've ever sniped completely through with a sniper as my primary. Uh, I pull out the ASM one uh, a little bit, but that's just because I don't trust myself with the sniper all the time. And before we start, sorry about the terrible mic quality. I really noticed in the last video, uh, my current setup is a Rockman mic duct tape to a tripod so yeah it's not very good it's kind of ghetto okay so today is the first of two videos that is about first what call of duty advanced warfare has done wrong and tomorrow is going to be what they have done right okay so what they have done wrong uh first of all this isn't going to be completely about uh skill-based matchmaking which a lot of people have been non-stop complaining about because they're trying to get either really good gameplays or they're complaining about the connection. I am going to talk about it though for a little bit different of reason than I've heard anybody talk about it before. Um, it's about the extremely bad teammates on my team on a consistent basis. So if I play a game in skill based matchmaking, doesn't that mean I'm supposed to have people that are just as good as me on my team? Because that's not what has been happening at all for pretty much any game that I play. For a majority of the time, I play solo, so I have a team full of randoms. And, uh, yeah, those randoms are really bad. Like, I can go maybe 25 and 12 in a team deathmatch lobby, and uh, I'll be getting 1 and 16s, maybe 2 and 14, stuff like that on a consistent basis. So even if I can put the team on my shoulders, like, I've had... I went 21 and 2 one game and we still lost by a good amount. That should not be a thing ever. Now, maybe there might be some people thinking, well, maybe you're just bad too. Uh, I have a 1.6 KD and a 1.7 win loss with a score per minute, which I think is about at 340. So I think that's pretty respectable for uh, most people. And it seems like the other team has just as good as I do, but uh, apparently my team is the team with people that don't know how to use their thumbs. The next one isn't just Advanced Warfare, it's Call of Duty in general. Uh, it's Join in Progress. I think there should be a switch you can flip whether you want to join in progress or not. Uh, I've been on huge win streaks, let's say like 20, 30 win streaks. I join a game that I'm getting hammered, there's no way I can come back, and that's just not fair. I don't think I should be the one getting punished for my team, or the team before me, being absolutely terrible. Like, the other team can have a full set of score streaks, and I can't do anything about it. Lastly, we have gun balancing. First there's the ball, then the EM1, now it seems like the ASM1. Uh, just finding a way to make all of the guns kind of even and close to each other would be amazing. No one likes being smashed, so I don't think you should have to use a certain gun in order to do good and have fun. So that is it for today. Those are the three worst things, I think, about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.